Hello. Hi. <laughs> Long time no see YouTube. Where have I been? What's been going on? Um, I have been working, busy, trying to kind of sort my life out and making a bit of progress. <laughs> so I don't even remember the last time I done a video. I'd say it was about two months ago, maybe. Don't remember what it was about. Don't remember where I left off. Nothing. Um, I do remember I was doing my 21 day challenge. I don't know if I came back after that because I didn't finish it on Instagram, but I did finish it. I mean, not Instagram, on YouTube and Insta, but I did finish it and it was really, it was really, really good. I'm going for another challenge period now, but um, it was really good and I'm glad that I did it. Then basically I was staying with some family friends for six and a half weeks because I was waiting to move into my own flat. You can see by my smile how happy I am to have my own space. And this is everything that like I've been dreaming on, dreaming of and wishing for um, manifesting because I wanted to stay in Coventry. Like I've really set up my life here. My work is here. My business is like growing hair, doing stuff in the community and stuff. And I've got really heavily involved in the community. And I really like it. So I just wanted to stay here when I finish uni, which I finished in July, graduating next month. Like so many big things are happening. And it's just time to come back to YouTube because now I can film like I'm in my own place. So naturally I'll do a tour and stuff. Um, It came furnished. I'm bringing the rest of my stuff from London. My mum's on my way with it now, on her way with it now. And that's like the biggest update in other news, obviously, for the whole year. Okay, let's just talk about this flat a little bit and why it's such a big deal to me. Because obviously, okay, you got a flat. First of all, where I'm coming from, <laughs> I don't think I'll have a flat at 23. Secondly, the, the last year of my life from September to September, I was volunteering. Like I was a volunteer. Even though I got paid here and there sometimes, I was a volunteer. So it's not like I was working a job and I was saving, I was... No, I was working for free. Okay, that's first of all. Secondly, like... Even... Mm, start of August, I didn't have anywhere, like, this wasn't something... It was something that I always wanted to do, but it's something that I left to the last minute because I didn't know how it was going to work out, but I had faith that it was going to. Even, like, trying to get in here, problems, problems, problems. <laughs> it was so problematic. I was stressed. There was stress in my neck. There was stress in my back. It was a lot, but I'm glad that I'm here now. Um, I'm really grateful for this space. It's a, it's a nice space. Got a nice balcony, got a nice view. I will show you guys soon me wanna little draw you in so yeah i finished um volunteering in august i started working at the cob boys and girls club as the project coordinator on the music and change program which has been really cool because it's reignited my spark for music in me so i used to sing from like birth till about 15 then i got stage fright and i stopped singing then literally started this new job singing um, I've been singing, like I've got tracks on my phone. I never thought this would be me, but it's me. What can I say? And my music, um, it just tells the story of me and I'm really glad that I'm doing it. Like right now, I'm just like, I want to do everything, you know, why not? <laughs> but yeah, it just tells the, the story of me and I'm really grateful for the people that I work with who encourage me to do that and like, I think mean, you can sing and I'm like, oh guys, really? <laughs> That's me. But um, yeah, so I work um, with young people doing music and stuff. We also do like boxing and I've started doing one-to-one -one sessions in boxing, even though I'm not a boxer, but I happen to like know what I'm doing anyway. And I kind of tie it into fitness, which, you know, I'm a gym babe, so I can do that. 
it's mentoring we do youth sessions so it's just youth work but then project coordination so organizing the back end stuff which i love to do you know me i love planning events i actually just really recently in like the last week realized how much i love event management so i do want to put on a few events over the next few years what else can i catch you up on so new job new flat new ebony altogether like the me that i was a couple months ago don't recognize her i do recognize her but i understand myself so much better now and i understand how i ended up in situations relationships um like not just romantic relationships relationships with people how i wasn't setting boundaries especially with like volunteering or working or just people in general like i was just mixing it all up like everyone sees all sides of me knows everything and i was like oh yeah i'm living in my truth which i still am but then there's boundaries certain people actually just don't need to know me like that you know um also in terms of like my personal relationships like friends and family and stuff i miss my friends so much and my family i haven't really seen anyone that much this year because i was working so hard and i'm so grateful that they like forgive me for that and like they're very understanding also in terms of people who i still have so much love for but they're just not like they don't support me they don't really care about me so it's too late like if i need help they're not there like i can't call you and just talk to you like it's just weird <laughs> it's just weird it's just weird in terms of that before i'd feel bad and like still put up with stuff that i don't want to put up with i'm still open to being hurt by these people i'm not doing that anymore that's oh that's the big main thing this year healing i've been working so much on my healing understanding where my blocks come from why do i feel this way about myself what has happened to me that led me to like i understand my stage right now i know why i stopped singing i stopped singing because i started getting bullied and it just completely took away my self-worth and my confidence and all of that stuff and then like i think without realizing through uni i was probably doing stuff that i didn't really want to do to fit in in fear of not being bullied because now when i speak to people like i don't remember who i was talking to but i was like what you got bullied in school and i was like yeah like obviously i'm a weirdo because i'm real i'm not normal <laughs> but um they was like what you'll never think that like and I was like, I swear, even my partner at the time, I was like, I was talking to someone and they were shocked that I used to get bullied. And he was like, what? <laughs> like, he couldn't believe it. Um, but yeah, again, with telling people that, some people just think, oh yeah, then she does have a weak side and manipulate it. But um, I'm in a better place now, mentally, physically, spiritually. <sighs> And I feel good. <clears throat> Honestly, I'm starting to feel a lot, lot better. I have a long way to go in terms of how I feel though. Like, I lost myself completely again. Do you know what? To be fair, I lost myself completely last year. And then I'd say over the last like year and a bit, I'd just been putting the pieces back together correctly. So not even that I lost myself again, I was still kind of lost and kind of fuzzy, but I was better than I was last year. It was, hmm, we'll talk about that another time. But yeah, I'm doing a lot better. And you know, I'm in my new place. I have my own space. It's so freeing. I've just been dancing and singing and cooking plant-based meals and working out at home. And yeah it's exciting times but yeah this is just to say <laughs> i don't know why my voice came out like that this is just to say your girl's back 
I'm back. Um, the most thing I'm excited for about having my own space is content creation because now I can film anytime, no disturbances, no noise because it's me, it's my space. No one that like, can tell me I'm making too much noise or like there's noise in the background so I can't do it or there's no space, like it's my space. <laughs> So watch out for my TikTok, watch out for my Instagram, watch out for my YouTube because I'm back, especially with Culture Days. I have so many ideas for what I want to do right now. So many. So, yeah. That'll all be coming soon and I'll see you guys soon. And thank you for watching this video and have a great, amazing rest of the year because it's October and the year went like this. And next week, you know, it's going to be December. And then it's going to be 2023. And then I'm going to turn 24. So, yeah. Have a think about that. But, yeah. I'm going to get on with what I have to do. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for sharing my journey with me. And see you in the next one. Like, comment, share, subscribe. You know, all of that stuff. Bye. <laughs>